So a little while back, I saw a clip of Vinnie Colaiuta working on a track in the recording studio. And in this particular video, he busted out a pretty cool little lick that I decided I wanted to sit down and try to learn. Uh, and after messing around with it a bit, I got fairly comfortable with it. And so I want to break it down for you. So the lick is a six stroke pattern that repeats itself. And you start with a left-handed paradiddle for the first four strokes. So left, right, left, left, with an accent on the first note. And then you follow that with a unison between the right hand and the bass drum, and your right hand is crashing on the right cymbal. And that's followed by a second bass drum stroke. So really slowly, the pattern is this. Now normally when you have a pattern that's six strokes, you would think of that in terms of triplets. That's just what generally makes the most sense. Um, in this case though, Vinny is actually playing the lick in terms of 30 second notes. So with 30 second notes, you have eight strokes for every quarter note. But this is a six stroke lick, so we're playing it in terms of those 30 second notes, but we're accenting every sixth stroke. So with that in mind, if we take that six stroke pattern and implement it in fills with like a standard 4-4 groove, you would get something like this. I'll play it slowly first. So the first thing I would do is just work on the pattern itself, nice and slow. The left hand lead can be kind of weird to get used to, um, and that just takes time. Once you get comfortable with the pattern, I would also work on starting with the unison stroke between the ride cymbal and the bass drum. So rather than Once you've gotten comfortable with playing the phrase both ways, then you can start implementing it, uh, I would say, to start with you know, maybe a bar of a 4-4 groove followed by a bar of that lick and back and forth over and over again. And as always, you want to start slow and gradually work up the tempo. So. Once you're comfortable kind of trading back and forth between a groove and the fill and a groove and a fill and so on, the next step would be to figure out ways to start and stop the fill in different places in the bar and also to move it, you can move it around the drums like on the toms. Once you work that up to speed, then, then you'll really notice that you have a lot of options where you can kind of throw this fill in places and add it to your repertoire. So to close out the video, I'll go ahead and try to demonstrate what I'm talking about by playing around the drums and playing the lick at different parts of the bar and for different lengths of time and stuff like that. <laughs> 